And good evening. Thank you for joining us. We are beginning tonight with a story that's raising national security concerns as well as angry denials. Multiple surveillance devices found near the White House last year may have been planted by Israel, according to one report. But that drew swift reaction from the Israeli prime minister today. Jeff Begay's has more on that. The danger these devices pose and the spying officials say happens all the time in our nation's capital. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who was in Russia to meet with President Putin, called the report Israel would spy on one of its closest allies a blatant lie. We have a director. I have a director. No intelligence collection in the United States, no spying. Whether it was the Israelis or not, U.S. intelligence officials are concerned. The surveillance devices known as stingrays, like this one, have been found near the White House. They can be easily hidden under a bench or even in a moving vehicle. Costing up to $200,000, they mimic cell phone towers and trick cell phones in the area into transmitting their locations and the identity of the caller. The stingrays could have been used to spy on administration officials and even President Trump, who is known to use a personal cell phone. Officials at the Department of Homeland Security warn Congress that stingrays are a real and growing risk. I think we ought to be uh, on our guard, uh, not only with regard to our adversaries, but uh, some of our nominal allies. They have their own national interest and they're going to pursue it, I'm sure. There is also concern the devices could be used by the Russians, Chinese, or another adversary. What the devices pick up. Eric O'Neill is a former FBI undercover operative. How vulnerable would a White House be to that kind of surveillance? So, for example, you're an intelligence agency and you want to know when a different country that you're hostile to is meeting with someone in the, in the White House. You could tell when that specific person, based on their cell phone, entered the White House. Jeff joins us tonight. Now, the Israelis have denied the spying, but this is not an uncommon occurrence in Washington, is it, Jeff? No, it's not. Spying goes on every day in this town, and it's worth noting that the Israelis have spied on the U.S. in the past, that the Israelis could be behind this latest incident. Well, that did not come as a surprise to some of the intelligence veterans that we spoke to. In fact, one person told us that it would be a surprise if they got caught because the source said they're just too good for that. Also, Nora, late today, the president said he did not think that they would do it. Nora. All right, Jeff Begays, thank you for that reporting.